Hi everybody and welcome back to A Book in a Bottle. Let me first apologize for the poor lighting today. I'm in a hotel room and this is about the best I can do. But I've been traveling and you're going to reap the benefits. I was in Boston for my middle daughter Josephine's graduation from Boston University. Yes, proud mother. And then we headed down to New York City to move our youngest daughter Alice out of her dorm. So when I was in Boston, I found a great wine and when I was in New York City I found a great book. They are the perfect pairing heading into this holiday weekend so let me not waste any more time. I'm gonna start with the book. It's called When Women Were Birds 54 Variations on Voice by Terry Tempest Williams. This is a book that I really really encourage you to run down to your local indie and order it in paper. It is a beautifully published book. The cover is this um, up-close view of a bird's feather. Uh, it has deckled edge, French flaps, beautiful paper. It's very small in size. Just every detail in the layout and design is stunning. So this one, if you can, buy, buy it in paper. Um, Terry Tempest Williams grew up in the Mormon tradition, the Mormon faith, and when her mother died, she told Terry that she wanted her to read her collection of journals, but not to do that until after she passed. So a week after she passed, Terry went to her mother's collection of journals. There were three shelves of journals. She picked up the first one. It was blank. She picked up the second one. It was blank. The third was blank, and so on and so on. All of these journals were blank. And so Terry, in 54 beautiful, poetic, short chapters, explores what that meant, what her mother's voice must have meant, what her voice means, what absence and and sound means in art and in the world. It is a beautiful exploration of life, of voice, of faith. Uh, it is at times I feel like I am reading poetry. At other times I'm reminded it is a memoir. It is stunning. It is one that you will probably want to read more than once. So I wanted a very special wine to pair with uh, when women were birds. And lo and behold, I actually found the wine first. But when I was in Boston, I was introduced to 90 plus sellers wines. And I promise you, you're going to hear about them more often because they're perfect for a weekend pairing. What the owner, the founder, um, Kevin, and I'm, I cannot even begin to pronounce his last name. It's spelled M-E-H-R-A. Mahra, I'm not really sure, but what he did in 2009 when the economy was tough, he took a copy of Wine Spectator and called a bunch of vineyards that had a history of high quality selling wines and he wanted to know if they had any wine that they couldn't sell that he could buy at a bargain. Now some of the people never returned his calls, some hung up on him, but he did find some willing to participate. So what he did was he bought these wines at a great price put them in his bottle with his label, 90 plus sellers, and then sells them to you at a great, great price point. So what you're really getting is that every night go to wine price, but a wine that you would normally say for a special occasion. So it's perfect. I just tasted the rosé and about fell out of my chair. I loved it so much, but we'll get to that later. Today we're pairing it with a Cab Sav from Argentina. You're going to get a lot of great, um, you know, plum notes, cherry notes, cassis against a nice backdrop of tobacco and mocha and it's, it's a very juicy, smooth cab. And then you're going to get on the finish some sweet, spicy notes. So it's, um, it's, it is so much more than the price point is going to lead you to believe that it is. So um, 90 plus sellers. I highly recommend you go to their website and check them out. 
they have a lot of wines to choose from and I definitely will be featuring more of them in the future. But to me, the richness of this wine, the backbone and the substance, it has good structure, is so perfect for when women were birds, which really demands something a little meatier with a little more backbone. So I think these are the perfect pairing. They even look good together. And if you cannot for any reason find 90 plus sellers in your local store, you can order online. They do ship and they even have um, some quarterly wine programs that you might be interested in. And if you do go to their website, definitely check out their Weekender Pack for the summer. It is a lot of fun. So remember, 90 plus sellers, the Cab Sav, uh, Argentinian Cab Sav, it's lot 53, will definitely retail under $15. And when women were birds, I believe it's from Picador. And it also, I think uh, the sticker price on this is about $15.